Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I thought you'd just like to see some of my little bits and pieces that I've been buying. Uh, sadly, I didn't get to film uh, when I went round the shops. I've been to the range and I've been to the works here in the UK. Um, and I was looking for Easter bits and pieces. So yeah, they've got quite a few bits, but as I say, I didn't get a chance to film. The copyright music in these stores is just blaring out at the moment i'm not quite sure why they're doing it maybe it's to try and stop people from filming not really sure maybe it's just to make us spend more or maybe they want everybody to have a sing song and we'll all just have a sing song along to the songs i don't know but anyway so unfortunately i didn't get any filming this time but anyway i'll show you what i got lots of absolute bargains um i was really really good in the range because they do sell lots of diamond paintings and i've had quite a few in the past but i didn't buy any this time so oh i don't know how i managed it because there was some really good deals on um but yeah i just came out with one little item let me just move these bits and pieces out of the way and as i say because i am going to be doing a little bit more crafting on the channel I thought this is ideal for putting some gems onto. So it's a sort of a silhouette of a bunny rabbit with Happy Easter on its dummy. Uh, it was £3.50. It already has the flowers on it, which I think are sort of fastened on um, not very well at all. They've got to be covered over. I mean, you can't put a decoration out with those bits just hanging on there. And uh, this one isn't much better. I mean, I suppose it's tidily wrapped, but it at least needs a ribbon or something on it to cover all these sort of workings and foldings over of the stems and everything. The flowers themselves are really pretty. These are silk. Um, these are sort of a silky effect but the leaves are actually plastic and the stems and everything and this little bit is plastic. So yeah, but they are very, very pretty. And I thought, oh, well, that's really nice. I'll get that. Um, and I say, I'm going to put some gems all the way around the edge. So I will coat it. I'm not quite sure what colour to do it yet. I'm erring on the fact that I really want to colour it all in pink. <laughs> um, or maybe I'll do it in white i've got some white sort of undercoat paint um, and maybe just do the ears pink and then we'll just add some different flowers and gems and things around the happy easter can be any color you want it to be i'm thinking it really needs to be well i might do it hot pink to be fair um i'm really thinking hot pink to make these pink stand out but uh, yeah that's going to be a future project and i think for £3.50 it was uh, very pretty very nice they did have a couple of other bits and pieces as well, similar to this. It's like the MDF wood, um, where you get your three layers of your wood. See if I can get, yeah, see if it'll focus in. Yeah, there you are. You can see the three layers there. So, actually, this is more than three, isn't it? One, two, three, four. This is five layers. Wow, okay, so this is uh, very nice. But yeah, I'm going to have a go at doing that. I know I've still got the Christmas one that I didn't get done, and I have got others, but I just thought, well, this is just an outline to do, so this will be a quicker project, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I mean, unless you're wanting the, just the plain wood underneath and that showing, then I don't think really you need to either paint or use alcohol markers or something to put a background in, otherwise your gems particularly if you're using special shapes uh, and you've got you know your square drills and even round drills you're going to get gaps so you're going to see the wood through if that's the effect you like then that's brilliant but i prefer not really to see the wood i want to just see the sparkle so that's that one so that one was from the range i think i did really really well uh coming out with just that one craft item that was very very good for me and then we were looking in the works and we've got some bunny ears yeah we've got to have bunny ears these are grey and white this year i think i've got some pink ones from last year uh, little millie moo tends to uh, end up wearing these more than anybody to be fair these it says age four plus because there are wires actually inside the ears so you can bend the ears over if you want to can have a little bit of a different look uh, have one up one down whatever you want to do but yeah just a little bit of fun i thought they were really good just for a pound can't go wrong really can you <laughs> and then look at this uh, it's a bunny hat it's a top hat 
with bunny ears on it. Now, this is just crying out for something here. Um, it's going to have to have a ribbon or something or an egg or, you know, even maybe just put a little bunny nose or a little bunny fluffy tail or something on it. You know, it's got to have something else added to it. But again, this was just £2 and it's like a stiff felt. It's been hardened to make it into this hat shape and then just two, the two big hot pink bunny ears stuck on the front. Yay! So I thought, oh, I can't resist that. For £2, you just... Well, we can't go wrong. I know a lot of places, I know where I used to work, we used to have um, Easter bonnet making competition. And I just thought, well, that's different. I'd like a top hat rather than uh, it being, well, well, is it a top hat? It is really, it's a short top hat. <laughs> but yeah, rather than being an Easter bonnet, we've got a hat. So yeah, I love that. I thought it was really, really good. Again, excellent value for money. And then I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, it's a make and create junior make your own gonk decorations so it set includes polyester filling two large pom-poms felt shapes ribbon glue and instructions and again this is four plus so great for easter holidays or whatever coming up and um, it was again it was only two pound i mean the great little presents for somebody out there you know uh, yeah i just think wow they're amazing for the price and it does make two so i've not even looked in this they didn't have a bag that was open so i've no idea what it actually is well i've a rough idea because there's pictures on the front obviously uh but i don't know how big they are or what you actually get so let's have a look at this together okay uh, it's sealed so you can see i've not been in this one yet okay so, oops it's alive so oh oh okay wow it's jam-packed right oh. <laughs> oh look a match a match <laughs> it's my little cutter so we've got instructions make and create junior make your own gonk decoration Okay. Oh, and we've got pictures and uh, and words as well. So I do like pictures, I have to say. I'm more inclined to uh, actually glance at pictures than I am to read instructions. Gets me into all sorts of trouble, but there you go. <laughs> I don't think I'm alone on that. Right, so we've got, all oh, right, okay, two felt shapes, which I guess are the hats. We've got, oh, look, two flowers. They've already got the middles in, so we've got our little flowers. And then we've got, all right, uh, ah, right, these are the ear, ears, look, the bunny ears. So they're in the pink. And you can see they're all die cut, ready to just pop out. And it looks like we've got sticky backings on. Yeah, everything's got a sticky backing on. Okay, and then these are, oh, the bigger size ears. Oh, now these don't have um, sticky backings on. So, oh, but I suppose they need to be a bit more floppy. They need to not be stuck down so that you've got a bit more movement got a lovely big piece of felt there a little left over it is a little bit thin but it's still a piece of felt this is the crafter in me you see every time i see something I'm like oh that'll be useful for something <laughs> right so then we've got these lovely pom-poms need a bit of a trim just give them a bit of a fluff up a bit if you just put them in between your hands and loosely just do round like you're making a bun or a chocolate or something and it just puts them back into a better shape and that fluffs them up a bit okay i think there's an odd little bit that just needs cutting off these they've not uh, overly been finished off brilliantly so that's going to be the base of our two little gonks i'll probably have a go at making these on camera as well because these look like quite fun we've got some great little noses look <laughs> We have a little bit of PVA glue. So a great little kit for, well, adults and kids, to be fair. Um, and then it looks as though we're just going to make these into a cone shape. Okay, and then put your flower on the front. And then you're going to put your bunny ears going whichever way you want them to go. And then the middles into your bunny ears. So, yeah, you end up with your little gonks. 
Oh, they're fabulous. And then the hats are going to stick on. Okay, I tend to find, to be honest, I know it's not really children friendly, but hot glue guns are best for doing things like this, for sticking uh, wool to wool and pom-poms and things, uh, because it dries so quickly and it's such a good adhesive. Uh, but obviously, if you're with children, be very careful because they do get exceptionally hot. I have the uh, lack of fingerprints to <laughs> testify to that. <laughs> You can actually get cold melt glue guns as well, um, but it's not something that I've tried. I have seen them, but they seem to be a bit more difficult to get a hold of, like the refills and things. So I've always just stuck to the hot glue gun. And I'm guessing that this then is like um, wadding or stuffing uh, to go inside the hat. Yes. So, all right. We've got some, I don't know, what do they call it now? We used to call it K-Pok, but that was a different sort of thing. That was like brown and a lot more woolly. This is like a more synthetic type stuffing for uh, your fabric. Though they just call it filling. So, yeah, you put that inside the hat so that the hat won't uh, collapse in on itself. So, yeah, I think for £2, this is amazing. Really good value. And then you've got your little ribbons that you can either use as decoration or put them round them um, and hang them up. So excellent, loving that, really good value. Right, let's get these put back in the little box. It's amazing how much you can get in one tiny little box, isn't it? <laughs> so, oops, I've just spent all that time fluffing them up and now they're going back in the box, but never mind. Okay. Right, so I'll put that back in there. Pop the glue in there as well, and we'll put the ribbon back in. So never be afraid to look in children's sections on crafting as well, because sometimes children's things can be a little bit cheaper um, to try and encourage children to do the crafting. And yeah, you can get some really good deals and you can always, you know, if you think, oh, that's a bit babyish, you can always add your own interpretation to it and add bits and pieces and uh, make it a bit more adult. I'm quite happy with the children things. <laughs> As you can probably tell by me buying bunny ears. <laughs> right, so that's that one. And then the final thing I got, which I couldn't believe the price of it, is uh, £4 and it's a little Easter tree. I do have an Easter tree. I've, I've, said I've already got one and I've got my tree that I bought last year for Halloween that I also used for Christmas decorations. That's the light up one. But I thought this one would be quite nice um, to go in my craft room so that I can have an Easter tree downstairs and a little tiny tree upstairs. So let's see what we get for £4. It is quite heavy this actually. I'm quite... Uh, intrigued to see what's inside again they didn't have any out on display uh, i do think that they've maybe only just started putting all this stuff out and um, so they've not put any display models or anything so it's a guess what you're gonna get okay so right there's nothing else in the box you don't get anything with it but that's fine because i've got so many things that i can put with it and actually it's a lot bigger than i thought i was thinking it was only going to be the size of the box but look it's been folded over so yeah and this is a metal base and then it's like wire that's all been paper coated and you can just fold it all out and have it in whatever design you want. I think this is brilliant for four pound. Wow. So if you've not got an Easter tree, then uh, this is great to get, but also you can use it again, as I say, Halloween. I had a real job looking around for Halloween trees and the ones I saw in Hobbycraft were really expensive. So this is excellent for this price. Just all needs fanning out and uh, all your branches go in your different ways obviously you can put them however you want them to go make it as tree like as you want you could even color this in with it just being like white paper covering i would think alcohol markers um or even paint or something acrylic paints you could color this whatever you want it to be you could color it in black as i say for halloween just because it's on the easter section doesn't mean to say you can't buy it now 
and put it away or you can do it as green for Christmas or hot pink just sort of springs to mind. <laughs> I'm really impressed with this wow that is really really good value for me look how many branches there are so that's the tallest so we'll leave that going up there and we'll bring those branches down there and actually no I'm going to put this one to this side because we've got two at this side we want two at this side so we'll bring that around there just talk amongst yourselves while I have a little bit of a play <laughs> just bring that around there and we'll just leave one going up there but uh, yeah I think that is amazing for four pounds I wouldn't even like to buy the materials and make, oh, and make that for four pound wow all right well it will definitely uh, be decorated and uh, be on my craft table as it were so yeah we've got lots of different lengths as well on these uh, branches you could just separate them out a bit make it look a little bit fuller but uh, to be honest a four pound wow oh i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that Okay, right. So well, just a couple of uh, little bits and pieces that I've bought. Uh, very, Im very impressed with the tree. I think for the price, that is amazing. Uh, I don't think that these are going to be really, really fun. Uh, yeah, I can imagine my little granddaughter's going to really enjoy having a play about with those as well. And we will do the bunny on camera and see how that one works out as well. And yeah, I think I'm going to have to decorate the hat with something. So yeah, watch this space. There will be a little bit more crafting coming along soon. <laughs> okay, well, as I say, I do apologise. I've not got any uh, video of the going around the shop. Uh, of going around the shops uh, so you can see what there was available i will try and do one um at a later date if i dare let myself go and have another look around the shops because i always buy something there's always something that jumps out and says buy me buy me <laughs> okay well i do hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let me know what colour would you do the bunny. Yay! We'll see where we go with that. And if you want to come back and see what colour we do end up doing the bunny and see what we get up to later, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. This tree keeps stabbing me. It's trying to get me back. <laughs> Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.